Today, 5-9 attempts for the fourth time to break 80. 5-9 has a couple of things to keep in mind to break 80. 1. No negative emotional death spirals. This is 70% of his battle. 2. Putt whenever possible around the greens, like in England. 3. Inside wedge range, we must use the right shot. 4. Hover the driver and tee it higher. 5. Avoid overthinking the shots. Just decide and hit. 6. Swing free without steering the ball. That's a great shot. Great opener there from Joe. I found out that the course for today has paspalum sure. grass. This will be much easier to putt on than Bermuda for 5-9. We'll play the course twice instead of playing a new course again. You have to play the same course many times to break 80 for the first time. Nice putt. Good putt. Good putt, baby. It's vital to understand the facts of where you are at any moment on the course. Always take a positive view of the moment. Staying in that moment is key. 5-9 had a decent chance to hit the par 5 green in 4 shots, even after going in the water. Don't let negative emotions overcome you before the hole is over. In an instant, you can keep the train on track or detail it in the exact same moment. Wrong think, well, I'm going to screw up yet another par five, so whatever, just hit. Good think, I only have 140 yards in. Hit the middle of the green, I can still make par. That mindset can turn a triple bogey into a bogey or a par. The first six holes are the excuse holes. Any excuse why today will be bad. Turn that around and just call them the warm-up holes. You define the moment, or the moment defines you. That's a worker. Now the wind's going to stop that from going too much to the right. I should land short of that bunker. There we We discovered that putting was a great option on the soggy paspalum grass. There is no grain in this grass, which makes it closer to what 5.9 is used to. Putting from around the green removes all ability to chunk or blade the chips. I mean, it just depends if you want to go over or under. I, I think I'll pick low, I can go over it though. I think you probably can. Uh, whatever, pick one that's going to work 8 out of 10 times. Joe is on a negative death spiral at the moment. He's already thinking on the fifth hole, he has another round thrown away. Look at this, if he gets this close, like he's just about to do, he can still make the five. He made a triple, he made a, par, a bogey, now he's gonna make another bogey probably. That means he's only five over. That's fine. Don't give up after five holes. So Joe, yeah. tell me about your feelings. Um, you, uh, you started off quite well, a couple par skis. Then we had a snowman ski, but you can't have Christmas without a snowman. And then we took a little sixy, but it was not a bad six. Bogey six. But what was, what's been happening? Um, you had a little death spiral there. Oh no, I, this is the thing, I'm, um, I'm too hard on myself and I need to learn to 
trust the process. Well, what happened? What were you thinking there? Because you mentioned something like a racing mind, you know? Oh, no, no. It, I was thinking about everything but the shot in front of me. I was thinking about the shot I took before. I was thinking about the putt I'd have after everything but the shot I was actually about to play. So yeah. You hit the 54 there, but what was going on there? What well, that little chip that you shanked you I had did. about 60, 68 yards uh, to the pin, and it was a shot I know, but the, the tree was in the way when I got to the ball. And the difference with playing here in Thailand is, is like normally I'd be carrying my bag or, and I'd have that there and I'd assess the lie, assess the shot in front of me at the ball, mm. give myself a bit, of, a bit of thinking time. But here you have to tell the caddy which clubs to bring. They're 40 yards away. Yeah, and I, and I don't know what shot I'm going to play. Yeah, and then it's caught on par today. So it does affect the game a little bit, but you have to understand, just tell them to go back. Yeah, I should have just said eight iron, little um, low runner up to the front. Um, and then, you know, but then at the end of the day, now I think about it, I hit it in the bunker. I actually made a good, played a good bunker shot and I missed the putt. In the beginning, you said you were too hard on yourself. I must say you had me at hard on. I don't know, you decide. High percentage shots equals higher percentage of breaking 80. Breaking 80 is about reducing lost shots. It's not about gaining 0.3 strokes against another 15 handicapper or 0.25 shots, blah, blah. It's about reducing hole shots. It's the triple on the par five down to a bogey and reducing the double on the par four to a bogey. The game inside wedge range is vital as we see 5-9 lose three shots in six holes. That'll work. Yes. Great shot, man. The plan to play on Paspalum grass is working. He looks much more confident with the consistent speed of Paspalum. Bermuda can be many speeds depending on which way the grain is growing. What a player. Yas, Queen. Yas, great shot. That's the one. Great shot. Great job, bro. Money. Perfect that's, shot, that's, baby. That's, that's money, baby. <laughs> Go. Go. Great. On the green, baby. No, it didn't draw at all. It's okay. Did you see? Two oh nine, and you're thinking five wood I think, or? I think driver now. I, I'm thinking driver is perfect for you here. It's directly at the big tree. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna encourage you to to tee it up uh, three millimeters higher. Really? Yes. Hey, you mate. On the last couple of holes, we see why we must stay level-headed. Those bouts of emo stop us from scores we want. 5-9 starts to hit the glimpse of potential. Yes, that's the shot, baby. That's the go-to fader. That looks good. Okay, mate. Little bump and runner. Great little shot right there. Good shot. I pulled that. 
5'9 needs to learn to let go and just swing through the ball instead of steering it. When he tries to steer it, it means he picked either the wrong club or the wrong shot. The irony of golf is that the more you steer, the less it goes where you want. The less you steer, the better the shot. Trust your decision, let the gods do the rest. Great shot. Good putt, gotta hit it. Same putt, just oh, not having that as a five. Unbelievable. Perfect. Bit bullish, but. Okay. Bro, you know I was talking about. On that line? Yeah. Oh. I am most proud of the way 5'9 played this par 5. He was super unlucky to lose a ball in the hazard because he hit the exact shot he intended to hit, but we don't know the course. He takes his drop begrudgingly, gets the next one in play, then Eureka realizes that he is only hitting his fourth shot into the par 5. He can still make par, he can still do well. This is how you break 80 right here. Keep going. This is the most subtle confidence building activity in golf. Shaving a stroke by being in the moment shows you that you can keep doing it instead of living ahead of yourself. It's a bit, it's okay. Yeah, we're on in three on this one. Chip and a put. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a pitching hybrid. I've seen many people ask for advice on how to break 80 and they are told to hit more greens. First, it's wrong advice because even scratch golfers only average about 9 or 10 greens around. To break 80, you only need to hit about 5 or 6. The secret is in the other 12 holes. Where and how do you miss them to not drop shots? It's not about hitting more greens. It's about missing the greens that you miss in the best places. Yes, sir. That's a worker. I'm so stupid and I'm hearing everything. Like. You're too jacked up, bro. Yeah, that's exactly the shot, baby. It's so good. That's good. Yes, sir. Best drive of the day, Bob. That's real good. Hovering the club and teeing it a bit higher on the tee shots is giving 5'9 some confidence and a better ball flight. Tomorrow's round should be a good one. 5'9's game around the greens was much better with our new plan. The Paspalum was a good change from the Bermuda. We only had two emotional moments, which cost him three shots. Probably gonna have a chipper. Yeah, great touch, baby. That's the shot of the day. Nice, bro. Great up and down. That's just special. Little fiver. I think that's okay. Okay, mate. I think you're gonna be fine. Cross the block. Okay, one below the feet, and I'm thinking. One forty four nine. Slightly less. At the pin. At the pin. Mhm. Mm you got the shot, bro. Go. Just got to get up a little. No, didn't quite catch it. I, I bet you see, I like that. Yeah. Uh, more than when you lose the confidence at the impact zone yeah. and push them right, because then we're in those bunkers. Yeah. I'll take that shot every day. So I don't know what, why did that not go? I just didn't catch it. Inside wedge range, he could have picked up two more shots but overall, this is a great round of golf.
he scored eight over on his first six holes in the glass case of emotion. This is great progress. The first few holes are always tough, but try get through them in as few as possible and do not give up on your round by the sixth hole. That is how to never break 80. Tomorrow we need to keep emotions in check. We need to stay in the moment. We need to avoid wasted strokes in side wedge range with lower lofted pitch shots. If you want to break 80, you need a plan and then you need to stick to it. You can check out these two videos I made to get the inside baseball. Also, I went back to some stuff I know I'm good at. Yeah. I think what I was doing is like, oh, I've got to overthink everything because, you know, I'm trying to analyze my game and stuff, but like, I know how to do some of these things. Yeah, that's cool. And 